Hello dear students, let us now discuss question number 2 of worksheet number 1. So here we have to find the positive value of the variable for which the given equation is satisfied. Now observe the equation which is given. 3 minus x square upon 8 plus x square is equal to minus 3 upon 4. Now this equation if you observe here in the numerator, if you see this expression, what is the highest power of the variable? It is 2. And even in the denominator on the left hand side, if you see this algebraic expression 8 plus x square, here the degree of this expression is also 2. So what we are going to do in these questions, first we are going to reduce them to linear equation in one variable. See how we do this. So we say that in the numerator and denominator you see x square is common. Here also you have x square a term involving x square and in the denominator also you have a term involving x square. So what do we do? We say put x square is equal to you can choose any other variable t. For example, I have taken here t, say. So tell me, if you take x square is equal to t, what will be the new equation which will be formed? So therefore, 3 minus, so at the place of x square, we are writing t. So what will be in the denominator? It will be 8 plus t. This is equal to minus 3 by 4. Now you see that these kinds of equations you have solved. What process do you follow? Yes, you do cross multiplication. So 4 into 3 minus t is equal to minus 3 into 8 plus t. This implies when you simplify you get 12 minus 4t is equal to minus 8 threes are 24 and then minus 3t. Now you bring minus 3t to the left hand side. So we say it transpose minus 3t to the left side. What do we get? This is minus 4t plus 3t. And you transpose 12 from the left hand side to the right hand side. So it becomes minus 12. So this implies, now you simplify this. We get minus t is equal to minus 36. Right, so what is t? So t is 36. Now t is 36, but here in the question if you see, we have to find the positive value of the variable. And if you observe that, here the equation which is given for solving, it has the variable x. But what we have found, we have found the value of t. So we need to do one more step. That means in place of this t, we are going to put 36. So this implies x square is equal to 36. Now you tell me if x square is equal to 36, you know that uh, there are two numbers, plus 6 and minus 6. If you square this, you get 36. Now in this question, we need to find the positive value of the variable. So tell me what will be the answer. X is equal to plus 6 is the answer as we have to take the positive value of the variable. So X is equal to plus 6 is the positive value of is the positive value of variable. Right. So answer to this question is x is equal to 6. Let us now do the second part of this uh, question. So the second part says we need to solve the equation and the equation is y square plus 6 upon 8 y square plus 3 equals 1 by 5. Now you tell me how you are going to do this. Yes, first step will be, you will assume let y square is equal to t. Now, if y square is equal to t, 
दिस इम्प्लाइज टी प्लस सिक्स अपॉन एट टी प्लस थ्री इक्वल्स वन बाय फाइव नाउ डू द क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो वट डू वी गेट फाइव इंटू टी प्लस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू एट टी प्लस थ्री दिस इम्प्लाइज फाइव टी प्लस थर्टी इज इक्वल टू एट टी प्लस थ्री दिस इम्प्लाइज नाउ ट्रांसपोज एट टी टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इट बिकम्स माइनस एट टी एंड ट्रांसपोज थर्टी फ्रॉम द राइट हैंड साइड टू द लेफ्ट साइड सो इट बिकम्स माइनस थर्टी सो दिस इम्प्लाइज माइनस थ्री टी इज इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन सो वॉट इज टी सो टी इज ट्वेंटी सेवन अपॉन थ्री दैट इज नाइन सो यू हैव गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ टी एज नाइन अगेन हेयर वी नीड टू फाइंड द पॉजिटिव वैल्यू ऑफ द वेरिएबल सो दे आर फोर वी आर गोइंग टू राइट वाई स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू नाइन and how you can write 9 that is plus minus 3 whole square so therefore positive value of variable what is the variable here here the variable is y positive value of variable y will be equal to 3 so the answer to the second part is y is equal to 3 let us now quickly do the third part so the third part says we need to solve x square minus 9 upon 5 plus x square is equal to 5 by 9 and we need to find the positive value of the variable x so how are you are going to do yes we will write down let x square is equal to t therefore the given equation will get reduced to t minus nine upon five plus t is equal to five by nine. Then do the cross multiplication. What do you get? Nine into t minus nine is equal to five into five plus t. Simplify this. So nine t minus eighty one is equal to twenty five plus five t. This implies now transpose five t to the left hand side. You get ninety minus five t is equal to twenty five, and then transpose minus eighty one to the right side, so it becomes plus eighty one. This implies what is ninety minus five t? That is four t, and twenty five plus eighty one. That is hundred and six. So what is the value of t? So t comes out to be hundred and six. upon 4 interesting now you see that here we need to find the value of x and that to the positive value of x here x square is t and what is the value of t which you have got the value of t is 106 upon 4 can you simplify this 106 upon 4 yes we can do that 2 2 4 2 5 10 And uh, two threes are six, so it comes out to be fifty-three upon two. So x square is fifty-three upon two. How you can write fifty-three upon two as square of some number? Think about it. How you are going to write it? It's very interesting. You have learned about squares and square roots, and you know how to express it. Yes, you can simply write it as plus minus under root of fifty three upon two whole square, isn't it? See the beauty. Yes, you can write it like this. If you do square root of fifty three whole square plus minus, then what do you get? You get fifty three. Similarly, in the denominator, if you do square root of two whole square, then what do you get? You get two. so you can express it like this so what will be the positive therefore positive value of variable out of these two we are going to take the only the positive value positive value of variable x is equal to now tell me the answer yes it will be under root of 53 upon 2 
yes if you wish to do the rationalization of the denominator you can do that okay tell me how you can do that so what you can do is you can write it as 53 upon root 2 multiply by root 2 and divide by root 2 so what do you get what is fifth root 53 into root 2 that is very simple you have already got that 106 under the root and in the denominator you get 2 so in that case better would be like you are not going to do the cancellation part over here and you can do it directly right you can write x square is equal to 106 upon 4 and that like i am just going to explain that you can write x square is equal to 106 upon 4 because t was 106 upon 4 so you can write this as plus minus under root of 106 upon 2 whole square right so from here also you get that answer i hope it is clear to you so now you can try the fourth part on your own